Hey, Jesse at TurboKits.com here, coming from me from the same blustery freezing Tuesday, about 7 degrees this morning. I think we're seeing a high of maybe 11 or 12 today. It's nice, yeah, Connecticut's great in the winter. Uh, anyway, we got an EFR 6258. Just kind of want to go over a couple things on it, uh, help answer any questions, some of the consistent questions we get. And uh, yeah, hope this helps. And if you guys have any questions, hit us up. Thanks. So here it is, the EFR 6258, uh, pretty straightforward in their naming and numbering. Uh, it's a 62 mil exducer on the compressor wheel and a 58 mil inducer on the turbine wheel, basically the biggest numbers of the big ends of the wheels. Um, they, this one is the T25 internal wastegate 64 AR. Nice stainless steel, beautiful looking housing. They come in a T25-64, a T25-85, uh, both internally gated. You can get a low boost, medium boost, or high boost actuator. Uh, they do offer a T4 divided, uh, internally gated as well. Uh, those are great if you have a true divided manifold. Uh, really get the, get the spool up like you can spool these turbos any faster. Uh, they also have the V-band in and out internal and external wastegate setups and an 85 AR. Uh, these turbos are good for about 450 horsepower at max. That is crank horsepower, not wheel horsepower. Make sure you're doing your math correctly when you're talking about the differences between crank and wheel and what boost levels and fuel you're running, etc. to make sure you match your turbos right. Uh, you have any questions, you can always call us uh, here at TurboKits.com. Any one of our reps, uh, we've been doing this 21 years, so we can definitely help you. Uh, get the best turbo for your build uh, a couple of the features of this that are pretty cool it's got their gamma tie turbine wheel super light super fast uh, transient boost response and initial spool up is just amazing on these turbos uh, it's got their billet compressor wheel um, they use a dual row ceramic ball bearing setup uh, 225 to 450 horsepower on a single setup typically a middle you know middle to small four cylinder uh, i probably wouldn't suggest this turbo for anything in the bigger four cylinders like two fours two fives and stuff like that uh, you probably want to jump up a little bit uh, again depending on application uh, if you need the instant spool and aren't really care too much about the top end obviously uh, you know this would be a great turbo for that as well uh, also twin turbo setups on v6s uh, these would be ideal uh, anywhere from 450 to 900 horsepower again at the crank not at the wheels Here's a nice shot of that turbine wheel. Let's see if we can get this thing to spin, huh? Stay up. Nope. Hold on. Well, that's not a good test. That's hard with it uh, completely assembled because it's hard to hold it upright. Anyway, so yeah, uh, this one's heading up to Canada, I believe, for a Miata build. Uh, this is a perfect turbo for the Miatas. We sell a lot of these for Miata guys, uh, the 6258s and the 6758s. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for listening. You guys have any questions, hit us up, email, phone, uh, message, however you need to get a hold of us. We are always here to help. Thank you.